Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. Uh, today's video, first of all, I want to say thank you for all my supporters, all, all my supporters, all my subscribers. Uh, everyone is following me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Fish Brain, you name it. I want to also say I uh, hope everybody is being safe as possible with uh, COVID-19 going around. It's a very, very tough time for you, the U.S. And, and throughout the whole world, uh, honestly. And it's just hope and pray that everybody is safe uh, and just praying for everybody to get well. And this thing just passed over and we figure out how to overcome it as a nation, as a whole, as a, as a family. So, uh, without further ado, guys, we're going to jump right into this video. And today's video is going to be my complete rod and reel arsenal. Um, it's been some time. Uh, over the years, trying different rods, different companies, different brands. And I finally, as you all know, I have partnered with uh, Enigma Fishing. And I want to just go ahead and get right into it with all my rods and my reels and the line as far as my go-to setups, all of them, every, every one of them. And it is, I believe, eight of them. So, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. All right, guys, first up, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the closest one to me. And this is gonna be the, like I said, Enigma brand. This is the Enigma HPT, seven foot, medium heavy. And this is gonna be my jig rod. Uh, personally, myself, I like jig rods for the seven foot. I like to flip and skip, and I just feel a lot more comfortable with that seven footer. And this is uh, paired with the Shimano Caius, actually, it's the Shimano Cayman here. 15 pound floral, 15 pound sunline, assassin, FC assassin to be exact. And I'm gonna throw any size jigs really uh, from a three eighths ounce to half ounce or maybe some either small finesse ones. But this is my jig rod, the Enigma HPT, medium heavy, seven foot. All right, next up, we have the Enigma HPT again. And this is gonna be my top wheel rod. I have it in a seven foot three medium heavy. Got a spook on there, but honestly, I'm not gonna be throwing a lot of spooks unless it's a really bigger spook on there. And this has a fast tip, which is a seven foot three medium heavy. I got a 50 pound braid on there, and this is the Shimano Chronarch HG 151. Seven foot three. This is uh, something I can't wait to, to really get on and, and catch some top wheel fish, even though it's it's early spring, you got bedding bass, spawning bass. You might catch a few top water fish every now and then, but it's not quite that time yet, but it's coming. Next up, we have the Shimano, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Enigma HPT, excuse me, seven foot three, medium heavy. And you know what, I'm sorry, the last one, this is the heavy action. I don't know if I said that, but either way, Seven foot three, medium heavy. And this is for my moving baits. Uh, I got a little swim bait on there. You know, swim baits, chat baits, spinner baits, uh, lipless cranks, things of that nature. Anything that's moving, this is gonna be my, my go-to as far as my search baits. And then I um, also have Sunline FC Assassin, 15 pound floral armor. Okay, next up. We have, again, HPT Enigma, seven foot three, medium heavy. And I have a Shimano Corona, no, Shimano Corrado K. 15 pound floral, five eighths, five sixteenths to three eighths ounce, half ounce, depending on what, you, what you're looking for. This is a seven foot three, uh, medium heavy, 15 pounds, something like, something like I said. And this is like, Honestly, in my opinion, the HPT series, the seven foot three is a good, good all around rod that you can really get away and do a lot of different things with. This one and my last one I just talked to you about, same size, same setup, everything, just a little bit different. You got a high speed here, a little bit of a high speed on that. The uh, Shimano SLX definitely didn't go over that, but the Shimano SLX on my, my moving bait rod and then the Corrado K on my bottom base, Texas rigs, uh, I can even start some jigs on here, but this is gonna be mostly just Texas rigs here. Okay. 
Next up, this one haven't had uh, a lot of a lot of time or, or any really chance to use as of yet. And this is my Enigma Phenom. Enigma Phenom, seven foot medium, only for my jerk baits, guys. This is gonna be 100% jerk bait rod. Seven foot medium action. You got your Shimano Kaias here, 631, I believe, yes. And it's gonna be spooled up with uh, Sunline FC Sniper 12 pound fluorocarbon. 12 pound, it'll give me a little bit more. Um, it's a little bit softer, a little bit lighter line than what I'm, what I'm using for my other setups. But you wanna get that 12 pound to get the maximum depth of your baits that you're gonna be using. And this particular rod is gonna be 100% for jerk baits. Next up here we have the, which is one of my favorites. Uh, I've been using it for a little while now. And this is the Atomic, the Enigma Atomic 29 E-Glass, seven foot medium cranking rod. Only cranking, I have a little small, uh, what does it say, 1.5 shallow runner from the KBE brand. And got it paired up with the Kias again. The Shimano Kias 151, 631, 12 pound floor. Again, and those treble hook baits, a lot of those treble hook baits, they're smaller. I'm gonna go with that 12 pound floor carbon. This is 12 pound FC uh, Sniper. Here behind me, another one I haven't used yet. This is gonna be from my deeper water. One of those, you can find those big bass in those deep, deep summer holes, or even just any time around here, you can find them deeper. This is gonna be my seven foot six, medium heavy. This is gonna be my cranking, no, I'm sorry. This is gonna be my Carolina Red Rod. And I got that paired up with 20 pound fluorocarbon. I haven't got my leader on yet, but it's probably gonna be a little bit smaller, around right about the 15, 14 pound fluorocarbon. And this is, again, Sunlight FC Assassin. And then I have the Corrado K as well, again, here paired up with that. I just can't wait to, to put some of those big, big straight tail worms on this guy right here, launch him out there and drag and pull and see if I can land a monster. Last but not least, a lot of people would call it the fairy wand, but I'll show you this is no fairy wand. This thing here can actually really get it done. This is the Enigma HPT spinning rod here. This is a seven foot medium light action, guys. Medium light, as you can see, I got a little navy on there, and I have the Shimano. What is this? Shimano Sedona. I have a 15 pound braided line, main line, to an eight pound, eight to six, depending on what my leader is gonna be. Eight, uh, I think this is actually six pound, and this is gonna be the FC Sniper. Those are my setups, guys. These are what I'm rolling with. This is what works for me. I'm not saying that you guys have to go out and buy all Enigma rods, but this is what I'm sticking with and it's gonna work for me. Of course, I gotta stay with my Shimano gear. Uh, I mean, with, you know, using their their rods, their reels. I'm sorry for a very long time now, and you know, with these Enigma rods are just phenomenal. They work out great, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Kind of quick run through of all my gear. Total of eight rods. Um, I don't think I skipped over anything. I think I got cleared and covered everything that I have. But guys, like I said, be safe. Keep your hands clean. Wear your mask if you have them. Wash your hands, take care of your kids and family. And guys, I will catch you on the next episode. Peace.